All right, in today's video, uh, we're going to be talking about two of the lesser populated declensions in Latin. Uh, not that they're any less important than the first, second, and third declensions, just that there's not as many words grouped in this one. And that is the fourth and the fifth declension. So you should be following along with your case ending chart that you have here. We're going to be filling out the last column and the third from the last column, all right? So the fourth and the fifth declension. We're going to skip the fourth neuter for right now. You can also follow along in your blue book on page 122. This is in stage 18. So, fourth declension. Words like uh, portus and uh, manus are part of the fourth declension. So you already have a guess of what the nominative singular are, is. It's an U.S. Our genitive is another U.S. And this is a long mark that I, I find important. Other long marks, you don't, you know, not to say they're not important, um, just that I don't have you memorize them as, as stringently. This long mark, though, you, get, you should memorize. So the rest of them go, ui, un, u. And so the plurals, us, uum, ibus, us, ibus. So if you had to guess at what vowel was important for the fourth declension, what would you guess? Hopefully you would say u. And that is correct. U is, is repeated. Just like the A's are repeated in the first, the O's are repeated a lot in the second, the I's are repeated in the third, the fourth is known for its U's. Now the fourth is typically going to be a masculine declension. A lot of the words in there are going to be masculine. So if, you have to, if you're on a test and you're like, ah, oh, this is fourth declension, I don't remember what gender it is, you want to guess masculine. There's a couple um, that aren't, uh, one of them of course being manus, the word that we just, you're just learning, but uh, most of the other ones are going to be are going to be masculine. All right, going on to the fifth, words like race and dies are in here. So if you had to guess the nominative, you would guess es exactly. Not to be confused with the nominative plural in the third declension. So our genitive is ei, dative is also ei, accusative is em, ablative is e. We have ace, erum, ebus, ace, ebus. So here are our fifth declension endings. Um, if you had to guess the vowel that was being repeated, you would probably correctly guess e. Exactly. We have e's all throughout the whole thing. And there's a lot of overlap you have to be careful with, with the fifth and with the third declensions, because there's a lot of E's that get repeated. Um, the fifth declension is typically going to be feminine, so race and dies are both are, are two uh, feminine words in the fifth declension. And there you have it. So you should have this chart filled out now. You should have five rows here, and then two columns right over here. All right? Thanks for watching.